Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. All right. Hi. My name is Mika, or Anamika, and I live in Portland, Oregon. This is Art Friend. This is a show that I've been dreaming of creating for a really long time, and we're on day three of a challenge where I'm challenging myself to go live every day for 100 days and talk to a different artist every day. And so some days it will be just me, and other days we'll have artists. Um, if you're an artist and you're interested in coming on the show and chatting with me here on Instagram Live, for about 10 minutes about your work or anything you want to share, I would love to have you. And I've put a link in my bio with a handy dandy sign up thing that'll let just one artist per day sign up for um, the next 100 days. So, hot tip go sign yourself up and we can chat. But anyway, hi. Um, I'm home in my studio, uh, which is also my living room <laughs> in Portland, Oregon. And um, I brought this little painting. I might work on it a bit while I talk. Um, and I guess I just want to talk first about the Art Friends show and what's already starting to happen and how excited I am about all of that. So, yeah. So basically, um, Art Friend is like what I do professionally. I basically get paid to talk to artists about their processes. I've been, you know, teaching artists since right after college. I've, I started teaching adults. Um, I started doing retreats and things like that. And then, um, you know, I've done many different things, but it kind of evolved into working with artists one-on-one. -on -one. And I feel like the concept of Art Friend came mostly from the fact that I, you know, I don't think of myself as like knowing better than anyone else or, or, or knowing, le you know, knowing less. Like we're all on in different parts of our journey and the people I tend to work with are like craving some kind of like next, like kind of next debut or next level. And so I help just kind of love people through that process and it's taken many different forms, but that's why, um, I've affectionately just started thinking of it as like being a professional art friend um, in the private one-on-one uh, -on -one work I do with clients. So yeah, and a couple of other things. So my own life changed a lot this past year, like pretty much everything changed. Um, I, you know, I was in a marriage for 13 years and around this time, uh, last year that dissolved and we separated and so I've been on a quite a journey um, have, you know living on my own now and supporting myself and I was you know working on my business and thinking what can I do like what would I do if I wasn't afraid like if I seriously gave no you know F's about doing the thing I've always craved and <laughs> I've had these like I've had this idea where I really want to create like a TV show I'm not even kidding um, but like more of like a comedy series about the creative process and like dr you know like have actually like really good people helping to produce it not do it all myself but like what's one small way to start right because um, often when I'm teaching I like walk around a lot and I act out the inner critic or doubt or fear and I act out like, you know, our guidance. Like there's all these like characters and commonalities in the creative process. So all of this kind of fits well inside of Art Friend in terms of em like embracing and personifying the creative process and also just the vibe that I carry in our community of, of being an accessible person to talk to about your art. So yeah. A few big ideas and we're just workshopping them during this series of Instagram lives 
So yeah, that secret, not now, not now secret, <laughs> dream of a TV show is taking the form right now of like going live and talking to artists. And perhaps I'll be able to start a YouTube channel or I'll get, you know, interesting things will lead to other interesting things from, from just beginning, right? Um, yeah, and then the other idea is I really would love to illustrate a full like color amazing book that's like a you know a guide to the creative process written by a millennial and um, kind of like the artist way but like updated for for the 2020s um, so those are some of the things that I was like if I was not afraid of all the things because believe me it's not like you know, parts of me and my ego and whatever were like freaking out. What am I doing showing up every single day? This is gonna be blah, 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 so hard. But I was like, well, honestly, I've already lost like everything it feels like this year. So what have I got to lose? I've got nothing to lose except for my own comfort in like continuing to put it off. So here we are. Um. Yeah, and you know, what I've found over years of being a human and sharing, you know, blogging, like blogging and just sharing my story is that like often we hear a bit of our own story and other people's stories. So perhaps that'll be useful to you or to someone else. I don't know. I don't really know if I need to be helpful, but I just really enjoy talking to artists and talking about the creative process. And I have my own big creative dreams, which are to, you know, really show up a lot more, um, like, as like the clown and the weirdo and the brave public, you know, goofball that I can be and, and, and talk to all the artists I know and, you know, just really like own the fact that those are my strengths my, and, and share that with you. And then like, hopefully my, my sincere hope is that, you know, it works. <laughs> and to, to me, working means like, uh, my business works really well. You know, I've had a creative business for a decade now since like officially founding my studio, um, in 2013. Can you believe that? Some of you have been with me since that time. Uh, and yeah, the primary thing I do is mentoring. You know, I work with people one-on-one -on -one and I have this like incredible, ridiculously intensive, life-changing 90-day program that costs $6,000 and it's such a pleasure to walk with artists through that. And I feel like I have capacity to always have like a few artists going through that, but as you can tell, it's like kind of limited. So I'm trying to figure out how to grow this energy and grow this concept and create community where it feels really natural and awesome and also you know make progress on my goal of getting more bold more goofy more in your face more just like really just like showing up as if i don't care what you're gonna think of me or if it's gonna work out or anything so yeah oh i see chaz hey i i like you're one of the people who inspire me so much because you show up so consistently you're a little world that you've created is so fun to visit and, and like enriching and, and that inspires me a lot. Um, so those are the type of people I want to talk to and, and share with you are all these, all these creatives who are just out here shaking it and working it and making it happen and like showing up. Um, I think I have a really special, like somehow all my life I've always, you know, been able to like kind of walk in all circles and know lots of different people and that's how I am in the art community so I thought it'd be really fun to like have everyone come on the show. Um, some of you I know really well and some people are booking appointments and I haven't even met you so we'll meet on this show. All right without rambling any further I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for today. This is what I did. I painted some pink around here and maybe I'll make a time lapse and put it in my stories and you can watch what else I do on this piece. Hey, thanks. Thanks so much. I just cut my bangs today myself. How'd they turn out? <laughs> they were getting really long. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm going to show up again tomorrow. 
yay! Maybe I'll get to talk to another artist. I don't have anyone booked yet for tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. I may be traveling to the coast, and if so, I will talk to Seasons of Salty Raven. Uh, she has a whole Salty Raven line, Oregon Coast specific artwork. If I get out there, I'll interview her in person. It depends on the snow and the mountains. We just got a record 11 inches of snow here in Portland. Like, it's been so fluffy nonsense. Now it's all slushy icy. Okay, I'd love to hear from you if you got, if you're following along on this project. Again, this is 100 days of art friend interviews. And my name is Anamika, or you can call me Mika. I'm in Portland, Oregon. I'm a painter lady and I do professional artist mentoring. And I'm basically a professional art friend. So this is challenging me to show up every single day for 100 days. I have, this is like really challenging. So I hope that I'm able to complete it. And oh, hi, Jennifer. I will love to have, Jennifer, you should come on the show. I want to interview you, yo. Um, <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm like interviewing myself. And this is starting to get really embarrassing. But that's exactly why I'm doing it. Because ultimately, like, who cares? Thanks for joining me. And it's great to see some of you and I'll follow up with others and have a wonderful rest of your day or night whenever you watch this. Yo! <laughs> okay, thanks for saying hi. Talk to you again. I'll be here again tomorrow. See ya. I'd love to have you inside of Art Friends School where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes or find it on my website at onamika.com.